Welcome to KetoMealsAndRecipes.com. Originally, I was going to just show you how to make a blueberry ripple frozen yogurt, but it occurred to me that it would be more useful to show you how to make a basic vanilla base and to also show you how by using just two more ingredients, in this case wild blueberries and cream cheese, you can change the base recipe and create five more wonderful flavors and thus ending up with six refreshing frozen yogurt flavors. And you don't need any special equipment like an ice cream maker to make my frozen yogurt. So let's start this video and make my keto frozen yogurt. Let's begin by making the first flavor, the vanilla frozen yogurt. The macronutrient ratio for the vanilla frozen yogurt is 4.3 to 1 with 2.7 total and net carbs because there's no fiber. For the vanilla frozen yogurt, we begin with these five ingredients. And for the ripple variation for each of the three bases I will show you how to make, you will also need to use my sugar-free blueberry syrup, which by the way I have shown you in the previous video, and the link will be available in the description below. As I've said, you don't need an ice cream maker to make this five minute frozen yogurt, but you will need either a food processor or a blender, or if you're really energetic, a manual whisk. The very first thing you should do Add very cold, full fat plain yogurt into your machine. To have your yogurt cold enough, I would suggest you put your yogurt into your freezer for at least one to two hours before starting. Doing this step will make your vanilla frozen yogurt ready to serve right away. The next thing you add is the vanilla, the lemon juice, and MCT oil. For this recipe, I prefer to use MCT oil rather than melted coconut oil. That's because MCT oil will stay liquid and blend better with the other cold ingredients. Then I add my sweetener, ground to confectionery consistency, and that's because it will blend much better with the yogurt. After everything's been added, blend for about 30 to 60 seconds. All you need to do is combine the ingredients. And now, as you can see, the texture is a perfect soft serve consistency and ready to enjoy. But if you want your yogurt to be harder, and to be able to scoop it, just transfer the mixture to an airtight container and place it in the freezer for four to six hours. Now to make the second base flavor, the blueberry frozen yogurt. The macronutrient ratio for this version is three to one with 5.3 grams of total carbs, 0.8 grams of dietary fiber, and 4.5 grams of net carbs per generous serving. You do the steps exactly as you did for the vanilla frozen yogurt, and that's your base and then add your frozen wild blueberries. I prefer to use wild blueberries because they have less sugar than cultivated blueberries. They taste better and have a better nutrient profile, at least in my opinion. Then blend for about two minutes. Because I want my blueberries to be mostly pureed, but still have a bit of texture. However, if you prefer your blueberry yogurt to have a smoother texture, instead of processing for two minutes, process it for three minutes in total. But don't be tempted to overblend because the longer you blend, the more liquidy your ingredients will become. I love this rich purple color. And because I used frozen blueberries, this version is perfect and can be served right away. Or as above, if you want it harder and more scoopable, place it in a container and freeze it for four to six hours. Now we're going to make Flavor 3, the Blueberry Cheesecake Frozen Yogurt. And it really tastes like blueberry cheesecake. You'll love it. The macronutrient ratio is 3.4 to 1 with 5.8 grams of total carbs, 0.8 grams of dietary fiber, resulting in 5 grams of net carbs. Begin with what you've just made, the Blueberry Frozen Yogurt Base, and add the cream cheese and additional sweetener. Blend for a minute, taste, and adjust the sweetness to your taste. And that's all there is to making a soft serve blueberry cream cheese frozen yogurt. And like the others, you can freeze it if you want it harder. Now that I have shown you how to make these three base flavors, you can make each of the three flavors into a ripple frozen yogurt, which will create versions four, five, and six. Here's the macro information for the vanilla with blueberry ripple frozen yogurt, the macro information for the blueberry ripple frozen yogurt, and the macro information for the blueberry cheesecake ripple frozen yogurt. As I mentioned, you begin with the three bases we made earlier. And to make any one of those into a ripple, you simply add two tablespoons of my prepared sugar-free blueberry syrup. I actually place about 
half a tablespoon in one of four evenly spaced spots on the surface. Then I use the back of a spoon or a fork. I swirl and simultaneously gently fold the syrup into the base. But don't blend and swirl too much. You just want to make a distinct ripple design. As I've demonstrated, it really does take five or less minutes to make each of the six amazing frozen yogurt flavors. Here are four of the six flavors I've made. I hope you'll give my keto frozen yogurt a try soon. Enjoy. Thank you for watching and see you next time. The link for this recipe is available in the description below. As well, the link for the sugar-free blueberry syrup is also available below the description.